Cameroon and I'm hacking the dive size and I'll show you how to get to and dive at the harbor of Siavanga. When you're diving in Siavanga, there is always a chance to get eaten by a crocodile. And that brings me to the philosophical question, how bad would it be to get eaten by a crocodile? I mean, for the environment, it would probably be better, because I would stop polluting. On the other side, I really like my life. I really don't like the idea of getting eaten by a crocodile. But I also don't want to be scared of them the whole two weeks that I'm here. Hello. Hello. Maybe it's only fair if I get eaten by a crocodile. My whole life I've been eating animals. Maybe it's time for payback. Now there are humans that eat crocodiles, but they don't seem to appreciate it very much. Like a day later they're hungry again, while if a crocodile eats a human, crocodiles can go without food for like three years. They would appreciate what they've eaten for three years. Hello. Three years, that might be longer than I would have lived anyway. I also wonder if crocodiles prefer eating tourists. Maybe it's kind of a delicacy to them. If there's something we can learn from crocodiles, it's how to conserve. They don't seem to need a lot. They don't need a lot of food. They only need to breathe every 30 minutes. Siavanga Harbor. And the kids there on the other right, they don't seem to be worried about the crocodiles at all. No crocodiles? You're not worried about the crocodiles? You're not worried they will eat you? Do you guys ever see crocodiles here? Where, where do you see them? Here? Here where I'm swimming? No. Not here. There. Just a little bit further there. But they don't go here. They, they don't come and eat me? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So, so how come the crocodiles don't go here? <laughs> Why don't they come here? Why don't they come and eat you? Because I think, I think they, they would like to eat you. Why don't they come here and eat you? <laughs> Why, why not? Are they scared of too many people? Yes. No. So you see, if there's too many people, they go away? No. Or they come? No. They don't come. No. Why don't they come here? <laughs> they, they don't like the, the boats? Yes, they don't like this. Oh, they don't like the boats? Yes. They're scared of the boats? Yes. Yeah? Like uh, they're scared of the engine, yes. the engine of the boat. Yes. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> You're coming? Yes. You're coming down? Yes. <gasps> <laughs> hey, hello. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, I'm, I'm going to look at the bottom for a, for a crocodile.
Okay, we're going to dive down and we're going to get the dirt at 3.2 meter. All right? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. <gasps> These fishing boats are all going out at night, then they have very bright lights on and it attracts very little fishes and those little fishes they sell here locally on the market. All right, see you guys, bye bye. See you later alligator. Hello. So here they sell the right fishes that are getting caught by those big boats we just saw. And that are the fishing boats out there.